Okay, next we have the probably the most messiest procedure. That's to put this conductive ink uh, and coat the inside of the through holes with it before we can do the copper plating. What I have is I have a backing board with a paper towel rubber band to it. I have a bottle of conductive ink from Think and Tinker, a cotton pad, some acetone, a rubber squeegee. Since it's so messy, I'm wearing an apron and I have some, some disposable gloves. At the bottom of my sink, I have uh, some newspapers. I put a couple sheets of paper towels down on top of the newspapers for later. And then I have a vacuum cleaner for removing the ink from the, the excess ink. So, the first step is to shake the conductor ink up really well. This stuff works pretty good. <coughs> um, it's rather expensive. I've had this one bottle for about a year now, so the shelf life is pretty good on it. One of the problems with this whole process is the shelf life of things. So we shake this up really well. We take our clean and dry PC board. And we take the top off the conductive ink. The first thing I like to do is I like to put some ink down in the through holes that are really big, get a drop in there. This is where the power jack mounts and where the USB port mounts on this one. And then I put a couple lines. across the board. And take the squeegee, what you want to do is you want to squeegee the ink into those holes. So you get a good angle. Make sure you get all the holes filled. Just work it in there. And then once you're sure they're all full, take the excess ink off and wipe it onto the paper towel. Now the other side's going to have some excess ink too. So we're going to take one wipe of that. And then we're going to take a paper towel. Now, the holes are all filled. Take the vacuum cleaner and suck it out. You can see on the little tiny through holes, uh, the vias are clear. All the holes are clear. They all got a little black finish to them. So we take the cotton pad and some acetone. Just get the pad damp. You don't want a dripping pad. And then one quick wipe to clean up the excess. You can see it's already starting to dry. You don't want to clean it out of the holes, you just want to clean it off the board. There. There we go. Uh, ready to go. Now this goes into the lab oven for three, 30 minutes at 200 degrees centigrade. And that dries the ink thoroughly on the holes and then we can start the next process which will be the, the actual plating process. Thank you very much.